Hello everybody, my name is Grovana, and welcome to the ultimate end-all guide to how to beat the final battle in Bioshock Infinite on 1999 mode. So we're going to jump right into this. So first and foremost, you want to equip, return to sender, and uh, lay some traps down around the generator, whatever this thing is that you're trying to defend here. These will actually absorb most of the bullets by the grunts and other stuff, and uh, will be the secret to beating this. This is one of the main things that will help you beat this uh, with no problem at all, even on 1999 mode. And while you're at it, also take out that first barge with the songbird ability that you now have. Alright, now if you didn't notice, there's also a skyline running across this whole battle that you can use to your advantage in many different ways. But the way I used it is to uh, come up to this base of operations up here. There are two tiers you can open, one with a health pack sort of station and one with a snipe rifle sort of station. And you want to have upgraded the shotgun and sniper in your 1999 mode as those are probably the two best weapons to use but up here you have a bird's eye view of everything and it will give you a huge tactical advantage in uh, taking out people with headshots and they won't even be concentrated on you for the most part now when this barge comes with the uh, giant weapon you can see there you want to use your songbird to destroy it as it should have regenerated by now as you can see here I'm taking it out with the songbird and a major, major element of this battle that you want to take advantage of is to use the possession vigor on any and all RPG enemies. As you can see, we have two here, one on the left and one on the right. You can shoot them from all the way up here. It's no problem. And you want to put that possession vigor on them, which will take them out of the battle permanently. Now one of your biggest challenges in this final battle is going to be the motorized patriots and they come in waves of two, I think three times. So each time you want to use your songbird to take out both at the same time by targeting the ground where they uh, bunch up and you want to do this for all three times and if you're following my guide you should have the songbird available to you at all three times. Soon some giant ass zeppelins will start appearing and you want to take out the first one with the songbird as well. I didn't show it being taken out but it's a one hit kill with the songbird but it gives you the biggest uh, reload time on the songbird so you have to be really really careful and listen to this guy to know when to use it right. Now here I'm showing that in certain situations if you leave one guy alive and as you can see this guy's not doing anything to the generator at all you can have time to go scrounge for materials and whatever you need uh, before you kill him off and start the next wave. So once you kill this guy then the next sort of wave will happen. Now sooner or later a barge and a zeppelin will appear on both sides of you and I took out one with the songbird, the barge not the zeppelin and then I took the other auto turret out with my sniper here they both have auto turrets and they will tear you up if you don't take them out quickly which is why I use the songbird for one and the sniper packs a huge punch especially if you upgraded it so I took out the other turret with no problem now again another wave of motorized patriots will spawn and you want to wait till they bunch up a little bit so that you can take them both out at the same exact time with the songbird and this will happen one more time I believe so use the songbird at the exact times I'm using them Alright, so here is the final two motorized patriots. As you can see, I just took them out with the songbird, and the songbird is already a quarter down on his reload time. Alright, so it's smooth sailing from here. You just want to take out the final zeppelins with the songbird, making sure to snipe anybody down below except for one guy so no one else will give you trouble. And from there on, you're pretty much done. It's all about mop up. So once you take out all the zeppelins, the last and final step will be to mop up any remaining enemies. Very easy to do. Just stay back, stay reserved, snipe them if you can. And uh, the final piece of dialogue will activate, letting you know you have completed probably the hardest part in 1999 mode. So I hope this helped you guys at all. And just remember to keep the basic uh, information in the back of your mind and you'll do just fine. You can even experiment. Uh, my name is Grovana. If you need any more help with Bioshock or just want to see some cool stuff that I've made videos about, be sure to subscribe. Other than that... Have a wonderful day.